I think that's a good sound check. I can hear my fan. I think that's a good sound check. I can hear my fan. All right. Uh, welcome to another Monday night edition of Bard Life. I am your host, Alice Thane Garfield. And with the year just about to be begin, as I'm a teacher, uh, everybody's busy. So uh, this is this is the last probably Monday night I'll have uh, where I spent all day with it off. It doesn't mean Bard Life's coming to an end. It's just I'd like to say I'd be more. I'm going to be more tired, but in all honesty, I'm pretty tired right now. Uh, but everybody else is busy, whether because they're, you know, it's a summer's winding down. People get all bad and whatnot. I still feel that you know it's good to spend a little time here on on the stream on Bard Life. It's maybe didn't become what I thought it would over the summer but it hasn't been for lack of trying uh, so for the, anybody who's going to come and say hi like Steelmaster24 appreciate the hello we're going to work on my TR character today I am going shooting for triple complete completionist before they turn the lights off <laughs> uh, that's my only goal uh, there it is, uh, Sergei Chernenko. Uh, Cherny he, uh, in my lore, he's always been the uh, less ruthless of the Chernenko siblings. Natalia has always taken more after good old dad Nikolai. And Nikolai, of course, has always been like the the spy master. Russians are always the spy masters in science fiction. I think when you get down to it, it's just because KGB are slightly cooler letter, letters than CIA. I don't know. KGB. Well, it sounds a little bit, you know. Eh. All right. Well, let's get into it. Enough of the babbling. Oh, light. Horrible, horrible light. Okay. Hey, do you light up there, though? Oh. Actually, let's turn, turn that off. Let's see that. Because it looks better already, really. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a lot better. Give the camera time to adjust. Yeah, no more of that fluorescent. I can see the flicker with this eye right here. I'll have to adjust it a little. I'll probably put it on this side, but I got some new LED lights. It's nice. All right, so we are going to with a welcome to Eberron. I have no idea. Remember, no idea what I was doing. I think I was doing Sentinels. I don't remember. I finished Sentinels? Did I? Well, I might have, because I leveled to 10. 7, 9, yeah, I'm on 8. So I've already done with Sentinels. So I'm doing 8s. Whatever 8s are. What are the 8s? Oh, like Gwylin Stand and. Oh, uh, we're going to climb. Alright, Gwylin. I'm level 10. I have not actually. We're at the beginning of it. Uh, curiosity. What friends are on? Also, uh, still probably getting over the summer. He'll come back. Probably with the next update. I don't know why the swipe signal active. I don't know why I have it active. All right, let's see what eights are. Thorough Crash Arena, yeah, Vault of Being, a Vault of Night, a little bit of a uh, Temple, uh, Temple of the Six, Shadow Knight, Shadow Guard, Shadow Lord. And against the Slave Lords, I haven't? Yeah, I don't usually do those. Those are pretty tough. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Let's start off with something easy but fun. Let's go ahead and start off with Stromwald's Mine. And we might go do Stormfleet's Outpost right after that. And then I like to get started on Thakrash Arena and the one that takes place in my mind. 
I know I gotta do Grave Robber at some point, but eh, I'm not feeling it. I've already passed it. Won't give me that much XP. And if we can get to it, we'll go out and do a little uh, sun, sun out there and uh, and uh, make sure I'm already set up for that. I'm pretty sure I am. Six is Forgotten Tavern, Friar's Mine. Yeah, we're good. And we'll go do uh, the uh, be, 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 be. kill the trolls. Well, cult of the six. All right, so we kind of have a plan. I right, get me, uh, fill, fill up my quiver. Quarrel, quarrel the bolts. Quarrel the bolts. go to House Denny's where of course the uh, Grand Slam breakfast is uh, no one's ever been able to complete it because they use dragon eggs and that's way too many people too way way too too much cholesterol I mean, have you ever seen a scrambled dragon egg I mean even just one I mean you know, they don't die because of you know, the stomach being upset they die because of cholesterol They also recommend, as is so many uh, medieval societies, what do not ask what the sausage is made out of. All right. Oh well, I don't know. Gotta go to the, the, this end. I think it's the an anvil fire. Yeah, anvil fire end. This is where we will find Stormwald's mine. Of course, do I have a higher lane? I have a one Samuel Miracle and one flower. I gotta get rid of the flower, but the Samuel Miracle will be fine. I know I can get an upgrade, but really, most of the hirelings are all the same until you get to 10 piece. Evil teleport quests. Remember how much you share it. Even if you're dual boxing, the other person the, the, the you have the elite opener actually enter. Uh, what am I doing? It's been so long. I'm activating my hireling. Did I change my weapons? No. Did I change my gear? Yes. They changed my gear, but not my weapons. Huh. Yeah, well, we should still be able to get through this. It's not that hard. The heat in the cavern is stifling. The braziers and furnaces seem to work relentlessly to ruin the air. As the door opens, you glimpse a pair of rust monsters skittering away. Yeah, you'll hear me tap, tap, tapping. That's me hitting the Q thing, looking for the uh, extra bonus gems. Gems. As the lever is pulled, the floor trembles briefly, and you hear a faint echo from the caves behind you. We might see if we can't get the rid rusted of the lever groans in protest as this. the door slides open, revealing have, yet uh, another smoke filled corridor. Ah, and cut amethyst, that's what we were looking for. Whoa.
Ellie didn't log on. Oh, I can get Ransom. I can get LHF. They are glamoring. He would be so happy. Probably should just take a day and get everybody in the free mirrors. I mean, Lionesses would probably really likes the, uh, ooh, that elite armor, uh, fire one. Fire break. I admit. Eventually, I'd like to glamour that up, too. That's pretty, pretty nice. She's rocking it now, but if it, you know, she's only level 23, 24, and, well, she's probably going to be 25 to wear that. Anyway, she's probably going to want to keep that because, you know, she's kind of like fiery red and all that. She's like that. Oh, down, down, down to the mines. I'm sure. No, I want to kill the rust monster first. spaces in here the uh the uh what am i looking for words words i'm looking for i don't know uh the walls are really transparent one so you can really kind of you already know where one gem is and one corpse is crystals grow in abundance here but the area's natural beauty is marred by the oppressive. Kill some drow hunters. Try to get up here so I can see. Uh, spot. Let's press search. It's all the way over there. <laughs> bug. Yeah, I'm not being able to see my... I think this is disabled device. Huh. Oh, there he is. Well, there they are. I want the wizard dead first. We get the iron key. Uh, there we go. See, I wanted to get the corpse. Take care of business. It's a pretty nasty electrical chap. Now, there's an uncut amethyst up here. The question is where? Is it behind the gate? I wonder. Usually you can't see through this gate, but... That's probably the one I saw. Like I said, sometimes it can be fairly forgiving. Nothing in there. As the path slopes downward, 
You feel the air flowing towards a point in front of you. Across the threshold of this room, several humanoid shapes rush at you from the campfires. Good points. All right. The area below is crossed by tracks used to transport mining supplies. Only battle-weary drow move amongst the crates now. to the level below this one. <sighs> and a mysterious ram. Cut amber, mushroom. Ooh, a corpse. Let's see. Hopefully I got everything up here, otherwise I'll be backtracking. It's not unusual in this mission. This cavern is cooler and more spacious, even with the furnaces and pipes crowded in amongst the stalactites and stalagmites. And here they come, walk up the mine. Precarious footing on the catwalk serves as a reminder of the long fall to the floor below. And I do my little turn on the catwalk. I'm on copy time. worth a slayer point. He'd be worth more, but I don't have a pot going. Like it if I ran into your little flame and died. I think 
there are two more guys down here? I can't swear to it. I'm gonna swear at it, but I can't swear to it. How many gems do I got? Two? Oh, I'm fine. Still plenty of room to find those. Explode. Whoa, I didn't climb up. I kind of skittered off that. of valor mm, didn't quite make the jump a corpse and then got diamond green diamond Just gotta run down here and find well, there's another trap. I don't remember this one, but I'll trust my senses. Now this is a big fight at the end. And usually, if you're down to one on one, they're both usually in here. Little spot of lag. A massive cage stands in the center of this room, but the dense smoke prevents you from seeing its contents. Upon closer inspection, you see a gaunt and disheveled dwarf huddled in the cage. Guess one we saw one of the rare gems from back here. Huh, must have been seeing things. So we've missed both an engineer and a gem, which is about par for the course for me usually. One out of every ten times I get everything on the way down. Look inside the cage from up here. I'm not seeing anything. All right. Now the main thing, yeah, when you're in a situation like this, is that even if you find the course, you have to get the ch the, the gem first if you want the big money super match.
Only once have I ever found a gem or a corpse inside one of those. And that's very long ago, so they might have actually... They're not supposed to be in there. Now, we might have to fight a fire elemental now. Sometimes they spawn a fire elemental up here. curious where I missed it. I'll check just in case. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh. They're both in here. And since we went over there, of course, this scorpion jumped out. He lives in that corner. Between the, right over there, that corner. Yeah, for some reason, if I miss a corpse here, it's usually in this little, by this little gate here. Alright, well, there's a couple of XPs. 12,000 is not bad. Says VIP still. Oh well. Maybe over this winter break. Okay, we got heroic deeds, which means if I get a green augment slot, I will be taking that instead. Anything really good here? No. It's called the Mary Ellen Carter. It is named for the uh, the uh, name of the ship in the song of the same name, Mary Ellen Carter, by Stan Rogers. The story of how uh, the crew of a cargo ship that sank because the captain was a little. You know. Anyway, they got the insurance money, and instead of just resting on their laurel and using that for a while or signing on to an airship used it to raise their ship from the bottom of the ocean. Well, you know, a cove or something, but we are talking about a merchant vessel. Probably would not be surprised if it had been a Liberty ship or of the same sort. While we are here, let's try and pull the little jackpot handle. And I'm going to go down and see if my weapons I transferred over or not. I'm going to spend a lot of time finding them. Still looking at my TR cache. keep them in here either, did I? So I don't even know where they're at. So if I wanted to have them, I couldn't. We're not. So I got a nice little eight. It's not that great. Not 
festival frosted. This is probably level 16. 14, which that would be really nice. And Twelve, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh well, we'll just have to muddle along because it didn't plan ahead. That's fine. Back to the dragon fire in. blows no, let's go shoot up something let's go do storm fleet outpost storm fleet outpost of course at one point it used to be a raid from what I've been giving to understand I didn't join until like 2009 so it's not like I remember anything I get the impression that at one point, whether by gear or enhancements or whatnot, Storm Fleet Outpost used to be a lot harder than it is. This isn't very hard anymore. I say before I get my pop up cobalt around the corner, but hey, you know. Lush jungles give way to a blasted landscape. As far as the eye can see, gray silt and burned plants have replaced the really green got fecundity it's got now of Zendor. It. So really, this is the one of the big fights. A corrosive weapon action. A swarming nest of kobolds has claimed wolves patrol the area in search of meat to scavenge and blood to spill. We will fight these wolves. Some minotaurs and the trolls back there, and a couple of giants. If you really want to do it, but Running they're really turn, not needed. You see an enormous house like beneath outposts, to be looming a lot more over the than it The gate now. structure in the distance is dwarf. A pack of wolves appears to have caught an unfortunate traveler on his way to the outpost. Speak of Sox, the Gate Warden, Gate Warden Ironclaw. Say, let me in. General Zantelar's forces have overrun these lands. You must proceed with caution. Zantelar's minions stand before you. You must strike back at the general by thinning his troops.
Sometimes the old eye plays tricks on me. Yerk, I die. Troll. There's a troll in the instance. That's all you should know. The pillar stands with two runes set along its side. The air bristles with yet unleashed energy. Alright, we have killed the two Mephits. We require to light the pillar. Let's see, we got the optionals. As you delve into the cavern, you spy a powerful looking minotaur. Onyxhorn collapses to the ground in a foul smelling heap. Unfortunately, he did not give me chump chest. But he comes with a regular chest, so. Still, it's always nice to get bonus loot. Just six. He gave me no another wafers. You have significantly weakened the giant's minion army. Dispatch, dispatched half of the bad guys. We are not collecting the containers. I don't have that kind of time. No one has that kind of time. You have to turn them in one by one. Oh my lord. One by one. Alright. Let's go shoot some fire giants. A fire giant has fortified this area with his personal troops. He observes your approach with a marked lack of concern. Six large crates dominate. One of the giant's lieutenants has fallen. You have slaughtered Ortador. and all the pieces and whatnot, but now you kind of do. 
The last of the Magefire cannon crates has been destroyed. Stormfleet outposts annoying. will take no fire from these fell devices. Well, I got the germ you take up the shard charge. of stone. See, I don't want any supply crates. Those are bad. Because then you have to talk to people. And I don't want to do that. I know I could switch switching back to the charge gauntlets, even though I don't need them because I'm doing ranged attacks, but it's a good habit because almost every one of my other tunes does that, so. Corrosive back on. The giants got confused there, but I'm going to take it. I'm not too sure why the wolf got confused there. A long abandoned amphitheater provides little insight into its past. With a rude gesture, an armor clad giant invites you to approach and meet your doom. has fallen. Crates are stacked uncaringly in the back of the giant camp, some bearing the seal of House Denis. Heavy too, though. Ah, uh, well, I, I'm using OBT2 Technical 13, uh, the new, the suite, and it's a little different. It doesn't really read my microphone as well as Open Broadcaster original. I can move the microphone a little closer. It kind of got pushed back. You take up the shard of stone. So, we'll move the microphone a little closer, a little more directional, I guess. I'm supposed to also get a new headset soon. Probably just after the 
first of the month. Well, I'm a little tired too. That could be it. Check the settings as well in a moment. Well, I'm using a USB microphone too, and that usually means the most of the settings I can see is, hey, is it working? Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of selection. Uh, this is now about as close as I can get without it being in range of my screen. I might, well, actually, if I move my keyboard over just a little. And that's about it. That's just about it. So we have defeated, oh, we gotta do the big one, the mountain guy, the portal dude. Another hero soul. Oh, I can do something about that. I, I haven't really, I can't hear that. The game sounds, the game sounds like I can do something about Game sounds are a little bit lower. Well, about quite a bit lower now. Thump, 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 thump. We, of course, have big problems with people driving by and their cars that have huge sound systems. We live right on a major street. So it seems like, you know once or twice a stream I have to deal with bumpity bump 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 yeah he's going real slow too that's a 50 mile an hour street he probably just went by us at about 10 jerk now they spent $85,000 on their stereo and they throw it in a car that might be worth 200 It's that loud so they can't hear the engine exploding. I mean, I've been accused occasionally of being uh, a little <laughs> glad to please you. Any, anything for the, for the viewers. I don't much need the sound. I know all these quests really well. But like I said, I've never been accused of being, you know, the most diligent about car maintenance. I mean, I watch the oil and the fluids and whatnot, and I do my best based on what I know, but these people with the thumpity thump 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 seem to me think that, you know, exploding cars are fine. If the car is not on fire, it's working perfectly. Oddly enough, I've had a car on fire. I got a power steering deluge. It wasn't a leak, it was a deluge. Uh, and my 77 Dodge Aspen, which I guess I could have just said I had a 77 Dodge Aspen, cut out all of that. Everybody would have just assumed it was on a fire. Yeah, I'm a big firearms guy, but if I, I did, I'd probably get a, a, a Sharps and a Henry. You know, Henry, because it's, it's far more useful on a day-to-day -day basis. But, you know, there's a certain mystique about the Sharps.
Confirming those crits, getting them extra damages. Natural 20s, disrupting the bad guys. Do I have a hand of the tombs? Yes. Yes, I have a hand of the tombs. So we got a car club driving by tonight. Fun, 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 fun. All right, before I go any farther, what kind is he? Stone guard? Uh huh. Why stone guard? All right, we're gonna take out the ac arcane black ones first. Giant. Hey, Hajio me, thank you. Chump chest. Double treasure. Just a heroic did, so that's okay. Take what we can get. I actually fell in love with the Henry Rifle because of, uh, actually because of Dan Glover's character in Silverado. You take up the shard of stone. Now I gotta defeat Mephits, don't I? The sharps, of course, Matthew, uh, quickly down under. I've never been in love with handguns. Single shot rifles have always been my gig. about the best song that just probably sums up why is the song Night Guard by Stan Rogers. So. It's all about a rancher who uh, tries to go to the cops about cattle rustlers and uh, cops, cops can't do anything. They say he can't do anything and so then he kind of well, pulls Night Guard and waits for them to come and Shoots up their their truck as they rustle his cow. It's a modern one. It's not a it's not a, like an old cowboy one. It's like you know if it happened. Well, when he wrote it, like 1981, you know, and I think that was pretty neat. You know, still writing about cattle rustling in modern Alberta. Matter of fact, uh, his his guitarist had actually said something about a. Uh, yeah, uh, Albertans nowadays have introduced uh, these cattle wrestling Easterners to uh, to an old fine tradition called the bullet dance. <laughs> well, you know, if you're gonna take what's not yours and they live out in the middle of nowhere, and you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You take up the 
shards of stone. You think a sheriff, the sheriff's that posse out there wouldn't mind pulling a little night guard themselves to catch somebody like that, you know? That and the guy kind of reminds me of the. Uh, uh, he's presented as a former uh, rodeo rider, and I actually know a former rodeo rider, and uh, I kind of think he would have reacted the same way. So, which was neat. I got to spend I got to spend about an hour talking to him the other day. He's well past retired now and whatnot, and he's got disability and a pension. Thank goodness. He's been there 20 years as a construction, heavy construction guy. So he can't move very well. And he sits at home and he watches his, his court shows and sits there with his cat. I guess that's... If you put in the time, that's not a halfway bad way to spend your retirement, especially if you've been beat up as bad as he had been. So, radio, rodeo riding, and backhoe operating are not two of the exactly the easiest careers I can imagine. When your body flows into the stone. You shiver as magic gathers the still air. It's called Bard Life. You're probably going to get a story about a song out of me some way. I love my music. Hill Giant Seer. So now, traditionally, you just open up this one. Because this takes away one of his guard, his main guard, I guess, his damage guard. I can get rid of his fire resistance, but it's not necessary. Plus five thieves tools. I'm finally getting that. Oh, how I wish I was on a bard and I could just use D door. Or I wasn't doing this funky convoluted build and I could just take the feet and use D door. Or if there was a D door clicky. Something, something D door. Or if you could buy D-Door Scrolls. There's another one. Too many game, too many, uh, too many, too many spells in this game do not have corresponding scrolls. Of, I mean, you can find most everything, but it would be nice if you could buy them, even if you had to pay even kind of outrageous sums. I, I would imagine this game could use one or two more plat sinks other than heal scroll or resurrection scrolls and heal scrolls really you know if d door scrolls went for 15,000 platinum each I'd still price pick up a stack of 100 of them on a regular basis you know I probably would not slot that spell on Alice thing that would free up a spell slot I would just use scrolls but you know they want to make it exclusive Oh, the fancy bard has the, the dimension door. I like to go around this little area on the way out. It's slightly quicker. Very slightly quicker. I think I did the test, and I think it saves you like three seconds. 
but it's a long walk back. I don't want to waste any more time than I have to. I know, I know. Super Tramp says take the long way home. Take the long way home. Yeah, I'm finding out more and more. I think I might like Super Tramp slightly more than Sticks now, which is kind of unusual because for years Sticks was kind of my go-to band. Nothing's gonna beat Yes though. Yes, Yes is my '70s prog rock band of choice. All right. That's it. No, I'm not going to do the extra stuff. I don't have the patience for it. Do I have enough time on Sammy for another run? Yeah, that's cool. May Storm Ray, Storm Cleave stand for another hundred years. Yay. Yeah, I'll just take that. All right, let's go back to our magical list. Oh, things to do. What did I want to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to go. We're right here, and we can. We can you get more than 11 minutes out of Sammy. We will we'll go do a little. Sardusk Island. I tend to be one of the few people that still kick it out here. This is actually one of the first packs we bought because it sounded big and like we thought we were getting our money's worth. you know back in 2009 we probably did but Manic Terran was just so much better actually Manic Terran I remember being is so good that we were disappointed in Giant Hole Okay, he, now I'm really on Cult of the Six. I have no rare encounters done. Usually I do those when I get to 11 anyway. And we aren't anywhere close to 11. I hold levels. I do, I hold on to them with every breath I take. Murderer. So we kind of don't have a choice. Well, we do, but we don't. I go this way all the time. I don't like going through that. I don't like going through that little cut. I like going up here where Boozer is. All right. Well, you uh, you stay safe, Tech. We got Boozer. happens every time. So I think one of Paul McCartney's better songs. Do, 
Did we get Furley? Didn't look like it. Nope, we didn't get Ralph Furley. Those of you who are just lurking, thanks for coming in and watching, listening to me ramble on, making fun of the, the names oh, of the creatures. Usually the red names and the place locations. Whatever else I can get. Huh, yeah, and I'm thinking about this. I usually go in and I usually get fire resistance. Oh well. Try not to do all the explorers at once until I hit the level, the end level. Or if I just need experience to fill out to fill out a a level. Sometimes not all levels have enough quest mojo to get you through. Not every quest can be Jungle of Kyber. Or Bond 5. Or Trial by Fury. Missed. Oh, you hit me. Oh, Lord. Our Boreans are tough. If you walk too close to the air side, you get sprayed with the acid. I don't want to get sprayed with the acid. I always go right. I did not get any Nello wafers. You can see why I usually get fire. Also, it can't be dispelled. These guys love to spell magic. I'd say, why didn't they marry it? But considering they're locked away for a long period of time with no other contact, they probably did. The jailer can be in any one of the four rooms on the outside. Dried blood and slivers of yeah, I know, but I want to kill the shaman first. I think these are really actually fairly low. I might not need my spot item. I didn't. There's the white priest. Merimidian. Rolling them 20s. He tends to run right down the middle and activate the poison trap. That's pretty bad. Oh, I steal. Oh, sure. What quest were you doing? I think I've done all of them except riding out the storm. A meaty smell. Oh, and I don't think I got it out, did I? This might be bad. How much these will split?
even know what kind of champ that was. Oh, I forgot. New quest chain he has, Minds of Tethering. Yeah. I actually kind of thought some of those were quite enjoyable. I especially like the one where my bard gets to be the main guy where he's got to do all his diplo and buff rolls. Finally, I am important. Yeah, I just like quests where you kind of have to talk your way past them anyway. Need more guile quests, I think. Probably why I still play Party Crashers probably way too much. I thought there was something more here. Yeah, I'm a pack rat myself. I probably have way too many of the named objects. Sometimes I've built characters around just the idea of having one object. Either at a long level or at end game. My wife already got the hand wraps from that she really wanted. I got them all. Now we'll go in, they'll st still explode, but. Oh, you, you used to have. The, they used to just explode anyway. Ah, oh, the trap's right over here. It's not that big of a deal. A little poison trap. Not usually that deadly. Oh, this character? Uh, no, this character is neither pure arty nor pure bard. It is five rogue, five artificer, and it will uh, end up being also ten wizard because I really am bad at wizard yeah in my TR character uh, usually I play the bard with uh, the guild I remembered it but the rest of the guild is kind of either sick or occupied 
Or actually, one of us doesn't have internet yet. Uh, he just got a new apartment, which we are happy for him because now that means he can, like, do things. But the bad news is he'll be able to do things. And We'd rather have him with us than without, but... Yeah, so I decided to run my TR character today. Trying to... Well, I'm not going to get a level or anything, but I thought I'd get a rank or two. I thought that guy just like walking, watching his friend die or his fellow troll die. You know, like I don't know what's going on. This one I'll need to switch to my other gun. So that's actually a perfect time. Because this one will have the shade. You get so excited for that mushroom. Okay, get the shade. You have to destroy these four sarcophagi. Cold, Cold piercing, piercing wind blows, blows through the room. Oh man. Jump chest! Yeah, I find Cleric Spear would be a little bit better because usually all you have to do is show up and people are willing to group with you. Because people like the idea of being safe behind a cleric, but if you can't, if, you got, if you're always at the low volume times, I can see where you'd want to try to find a little something, something better. Yeah, I love Dwarf Max Con builds. I have a hurricane machine build that is dwarf Maxcon. With throw your weight around. Just went. Forget it. I think there's more. Oozes aren't really that bad, and black puddings usually don't wear down the equipment that badly. Sam needs to heal himself, but sometimes he forgets or doesn't care. Ransack. Ah, see, I'm good with pallets. I have a pretty nice 14, 14, 14 pally, four fighter, two rogue build that I like. But sorcerer, 
Uh, the, only, the, only, the only one I play worse than Sorcerer is Wizard. I am incompetent with the old magic stuff. Okay. Pally's really powerful. Uh, clerics are supposed to get like really good stuff now soon. So I'll respect my main cleric. Go all war domain. Get the holy sword and whatnot. Plus five to attack and damage. Pray they don't nerf it. Chairman Mirror, I was on a which character, what, well, probably Cherenanko, but which one of his lies? I did this fast enough not to resist to set the out instance, and I did all the optionals, too. That was a terror build. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm usually the support for everybody else so I'm kind of used to that so being a bard's not that hard for me um, I love the bard I love the, all the things they gave to the bard so you can get through it now and I'm hoping that I'll be the same with the cleric um, but yeah bard you kind of have to do it right I need some chips I think clerics need more power. Um, what? That's what I just said before. But at least clerics are, you know, durable enough to get through most everything. So you don't have to worry about that, unlike, you know, sorcerers and wizards and whatnot, where it seems like every time I go, I can't one-shot everything or do enough damage or have enough CC or have enough saves or have enough whatever to prevent some schmuck from coming up here up right into my face and just wasting me with a one sword hit. Yeah, you gotta find creative ways to be able to get through what you want. Like I said, I originally I was gonna do a nine warlock, one rogue, ten everything else, whatever else, yeah, but I didn't really like the way the warlock scaled with it. Unlike this, where I do like it, and so I can go ahead and just like sneak my. Uh, Wizard Stork Lives through. Everything else I can play. 
Um, monk I'm not too hot about, but I can do it now. I, I, I taught myself how to do monk. I now know how to monk things to death, but to say I enjoy it would probably be going a little far. Warlock's crazy. I like Ranger, Paladin. I love Artificer. Love Bard. Can stand fighter no fighter's good as I have a pretty good stick fighter belt now. Yeah. Is 12 fighters, 5 barbarian, 3 rogue, half orc? If I remember right. It all actually started as a mistake, you too. So it's always better when you manage to make something work course. out in the first place. It will be your undoing. The Libram of the Six will not be the And that's the best thing about this game, there's always more than one way to play. Zerg, Flower Sniff, Pure, Multi-Class. Doesn't matter, as long as it gets you true. Chump chest. As the final protector of the of the Which is good because this doesn't usually have a whole lot of uh, loot in it. I got in and out before it reset. I don't have to kill those three guys. I think it would have mattered one way or another. I think that is it for the Libram of the Six. So if I gain a level, I can do the rest of it. Put my chips up. Oh, kind of wanted to go for at least 15 minutes more. What to do? What to do? Since I'm not taking any epic levels, I kind of want to do Spies in the House. I'm not too sure if I can stay up for it. And we've also got uh, Threnel. Woo. Haunted Library, Caverns of Coromar. If 
I had my new gun, my level 10 gun on me, I'd do Tharic Serena, but I don't. These I want to save for that, too. I don't really want to do Western Excavation now. Don't want to do Caravans of Korra more. Definitely don't want to do Faithful Departed. And Han Library is long. Long. Uh, I think I'll go back one. Go ahead and do the Grave Robber and call it a stream. That's what I'll do. Had a little bit of fill in. Might as well do that. I won't get no big XP, but I can at least get it done. I actually have a buddy who goes by the handle of Death Shadow, so it's a little hard for me to do this. Oh, I'm going to need to get another hireling anyway. Slay Death Shadow. No, he taught me HTML. Just junk it. It's getting to the level where it's almost worth uh, breaking them down for essences. Ever since they changed the way that worked, it's kind of a little bit of a loss before about level 10. I still want to do a spies in the house, but I don't think I can stay awake for it. Oh, and I got things to do. Shoot. I got stuff to advance, so I can't really take a whole lot of time, so Graveyard really is going to have to be it. okay I kind of like graveyard uh, grave robber it introduces you to the super or the durable zombie I don't know I need a lot more than just two of them let's get two for right now and go off to house Jurasco. Right, it's Jurasco. Where well, you're among the little people now. Here's Thetideus, Dia Jurasco, kind of kicking it on his island. I'm spying on the. We need the shade dead with that. There's nothing that imbues Ghostbane on a ranged weapon. Boom! Across the room, you see a set of stairs descending into the thick fog. The outside of the house is apparently nothing but a facade. Uh. Yes. Disable. That way you can run down. Come on. 
Good hireling. That's why I'm hoping a lot of nat 20s. guys don't need them so much but hey efficiency is always appreciated see I would like to have more natural 20s that would have been a good time for one First or second shot in that 20 is always nice. Disrupted. Hand of the tombs. Yeah, alright. There were three quick nat 20s. Speed things up. I'm going to have to fight a shade. Oh, sorry. It's like right there you can hear it. Alright, so we killed the ghost of Lightfoot. Willowborn, not Gordon. Wouldn't even play if it was Gordon. Be all like, no, he can kill me. Matter of fact, that was the entire point of the Roberta Flax song, Killing Me Softly with His. No, that was Don McLean. Which, uh, not but you know I love you. La la la, love you. I'm thinking of the fact that both Roberta Black and Gordon Lightfoot covered uh, the first time ever I saw your face, along with 90% of the uh, people during that time. It's like it's in the 70s. On your third album, you have to do a cover of uh, the first time ever I saw your face. I have versions of that by Roberta Flack, Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, let's see, the Kingston Trio, Glenn Campbell, oh, what's his name, Mac Davis, lots of, lots of, lots of them, uh, Bobby Goldsboro, the only song I have more of, I think, is the uh, Gordon Lightfoot song, Early Morning Rain, I have that by Gordon, Gordon, Glenn Campbell, Peter, Paul, and Mary, Elvis Presley, uh, I'm trying to think who else. There's a lot more than that. Ellen John saying about that once. You may ri even ride a standard, lads. He's right, wrote in one or two. Your song being the one that comes first into mind. Most of Bernie Toppin's lyrics are a little bit hard for them to really become a standard, but your song, that was pretty simple. For 
instance, I don't ever see Solar Prestige a Gammon to become a standard. Considering it's nonsense. I mean, literally nonsense. Oh, you want to try to find super they deep meaning into our lyrics? Try this one. Nat 20, Nat 20. No, I have to kill it all the way. Killed until dead. I used to say killed in my phrase, killed until dead. It would sound like the worst Steven Seagal movies, but I've seen his last couple, and no, actually, I would rather now watch Killed Until Dead. me with a slow debuff and I still have to, I didn't get a Milla wafer bummer ah, I have my Nilla wafers See, I have them in game I can't have them in real life anymore one of the best things about going over to grandma's house is surfeiting on the Nilla wafers Natural 20s, come on. Yeah. Run into the explosion. That's just a rest shrine. If you need rest shrine things. There's a pretty tricky trap here. See, that's tricky. Ugh. Jeez. My priest was hanging out at the door. Wanted to get through that door so bad. Yeah, I guess he was an evangelical white priest. Can we talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Zombie Jesus? Okay. Oops, I am out of. I'm out of corrosive. I gotta get some corrosive. Should be three specters in this room. Frogs in this room?
Lowy, lowy. Oh, 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 we gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lowy, lowy. You can think they hear a scream. No. Yeah. I think they're all just zombies. In the first one. Physical undead. Through that. That's Vandal. Alright. My key thing here is to kill Death Shadow quickly. Because he likes to spam Sleet Storm. You don't know how far they'll follow. I will follow you no matter where you may go. Yeah, I know, I missed out on. Kind of hard to get to him, though, with Death Shadow. They're spamming, I ran with Lee Storm, and can't move. I don't have freedom of movement on this character. But there is two chests, that's always good. All right, we will finish this out. 8.16, went a minute over what I intended, but that's okay. Fine. Was it going to go all the way to 8 30? I am seriously tuckered, guys. Seriously, seriously tuckered out. Green. Green. I mean, if there I care, there's no. I only take red augment slots when it's like. Uh, custom metal, so heroic did, so that's not too bad for one, oh, one under level. Alright. Okay, well, so that's Bard Life for today, the 14th of August, 2017. I appreciate uh, everybody who showed up. At one point, we had 10 people watching. That's not bad for me. Um... I enjoy the fact that both uh, Technical 13 and, and Steel Master 24 decided to chat and channel. I don't mind answering any and all your questions. I've been playing this game long enough that I do have some of the answers. Not all of them. Who really would have all the answers to this game? Really? Seriously. Thulsa Uh Probably Thulsa. Uh, he's played, he's a triple completionist. If not him, Fongate. Fungate would. 
Uh, at least on Kyber server. I don't know about the other servers. I've never been uh, all that exploratory. Maybe maybe that's something I'll have to do. I know I have a uh, tunes on Orion, just hold placeholder tunes on Orion and uh, uh, Wayfinder. Uh, so let's uh, get the uh, things. You can uh, follow me down there. They're right down there. There it is. Follow Alice Thane Garfield on Twitter at the cat Alice Thane. Uh, I gotta do that for the Morning in Middle Earth one. Morning in Middle Earth. Uh, probably going off this weekend. We didn't do it yesterday because it just didn't work. Uh, yeah, I got a little upset tummy that day, so we had to cancel that. But Morning in Middle Earth goes off every mor mo uh, Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time, West Coast time, Best Coast time. Uh, Bard Life. Every Monday at 6.30, I was a little tired. I still, when I got up, did it. Maybe at 6.30 p.m. Pacific. And uh, I also do another show featuring another game, which I will not promote here, but I do that on Thursday at 6.30. I will promote myself, but I won't promote the game. Anyway, uh, usual uh, disclaimer, if you can stay up for Monday Night Football, you can stay up for Monday Night DDO, and if I can stay up and perform Monday Night DDO, you can stay up and watch it. And I wish every single one of you peace and good questing. Follow the DDO stream, the Lotro stream, and my own personal channel at Twitch TV slash Doug Lindauer. Thank you, peace, and good questing.